everybody, Brandy here from Stamp Me Some Love. I am so excited that you guys are here today. All right, I don't know about you, but we have all been working for this moment. Kick off to the Card Maker Success Summit. Ooh, I cannot wait. All right, you guys, so uh, there's been a lot going on behind the scenes today, and we are so ready to get this party started. What I want from you all is to um, comment in the comment uh, chat box below where you're from, because I understand that we have got lots of people from all over the world, and I want to see who is the farthest away from Versailles, Kentucky, because that's where I'm coming to you live. And so I'm going to have Lori take a look at the different chat boxes and see if we can find someone who's the furthest away. I may have a prize for you. All right. Okay, let's see here. We have got several people on and let me see if our comments are coming in. They appear to be so. All right, a couple of um, disclaimers to let you all know. As I started to uh, load up the computer getting ready for our live tonight and tried to log into StreamYard, which is the software platform in which I'm broadcasting you to, uh, from, um, there was a little warning saying that they're having issues. So that being said, if for some reason we go silent, uh, we will try to get up as quickly as possible. But I just want to let you all know that um, in case there is some sort of um, glitch, which, you know, it's live. Of course, it's going to happen. <laughs> All right, you guys. Okay, so tell me where you're from, and then Lori's going to tell me in about a half hour where she thinks the um, farthest, per farthest person away is from Versailles, Kentucky. Okay, so let me just introduce myself. My name is Brandy Mahon, and I am the creative owner of Stamp Me Some Love. I'm a card maker, a real estate photographer, and a sign language interpreter for the deaf which is why I use my hands a lot when I talk, and you'll notice it, I'm sure, before the weekend is over. I have a recreation degree in administration from the Southwest Texas State University, and I love to throw parties and have uh, opportunities for people to collaborate, and so this Card Maker Success Summit was the perfect fit for me. Now, let me just give you a little story about how Stampin', uh, Stamp Me Some Love came to be. I was first a scrapbooker and scrapbooked for many, many years, particularly when my first nephew was born. And I just wanted to chronicle his life. And I was getting all these pictures for my sister. And um, well, you know, the era of digital photography came in. And so I kind of left my scrapbooking days to the side. But I will tell you that I carried those supplies around for at least three or four moves. And when I finally got to Kentucky and I hadn't touched the supplies in over a year, I decided to give them away to the next door neighbor. Hi, Ju Luke and Julie, I wonder if you're watching today. Anyway, their girls got those scrapbooking supplies and then I was kind of at a loss of what to do for a hobby. Well, a couple of years ago, 2017, I decided to go to a Stampin' Up! Um, party. I guess it's called a party, a workshop of some sort. And I created my very first card. I was hooked. I thought to myself, I don't have to rely on uh, pictures or have to wait for specific moments in time to happen. I can create cards anytime I want for any occasion and not even have the person in mind who I am creating the card for. It was so freeing and I felt so liberated that I could just create and that's what I loved. So I really got into card making and um, Kind of kind of went overboard, as my wife would say. I bought everything Stampin' Up! Um, came out with. I said, well, I might as well get a discount while doing it. So I became a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I taught classes in my basement um, and actually went to the library and taught classes and stuff. And I just really decided that I wanted to do something more. So in 2019, I decided to step down from Stampin' Up! And I created a blog. And that blog is what you know today is Stamp Me Some Love. And it's basically just a, a passion of mine of creating stamp, uh, excuse me, creating cards and teaching other people how to make beautiful cards as well. So that started in 2019. Last year, 2020, right before COVID hit, I had this 
big idea that I was going to teach online and it was going to be awesome. Then COVID hit and then everybody was teaching online. So it was really hard to kind of find my niche. Well, I decided that I wanted to do something really big and I wanted to do something that would bring card makers from all over the world together. And that's where the Card Maker Success Summit came to be. Um, I worked on this for a long time, just basically in my head on the lawnmower, listening to podcasts and listening to other bloggers and influencers, trying to get my idea sol solidified. And it just sort of came to me literally while I was riding lawn mowing um, our one acre lot out here. I, I like to do that. I like to put the headphones in and just kind of zoom, you know, zone out and just, you know, think about big things I want to do. And um, I decided, well, I'm going to invite 25 card makers that don't know me and see if they want to come along with this journey. And so that's what I did. I reached out to some really big names and then some really um, small upcoming names. I just wanted to have a variety of people, of backgrounds, and just showcase what there is to card making. Now, our theme for the summit is holiday card making. And what our goal is, is to help you, the card maker, get ready for your holiday card making season. Now, a couple years back when I started card making, I thought, this is going to be great. I'm going to create all my Christmas cards. They're going to be handmade. Everybody's going to love them. And I spent hours doing it. And I sent it out that first year. And the response was awesome. Everybody was like, oh, please put me on your list next year. I want one of those cards. And then the following year came and I was like, oh, no, what do I do? I waited till the last minute, of course which was sometime in November and I didn't have a plan. And so I was kind of looking around, trying to figure out what card design I wanted to make and what supplies I had and what supplies I needed to get. And, and it really stressed me out, honestly. And I struggled to get those cards mailed out in a timely manner. Trust me, my wife, <laughs> I hope she's not watching, um, would get you know kind of irritated with me because those Christmas cards hadn't been sent out and it was like a week away from Christmas and so the next year I decided I was going to be a little bit more strategic about it and make a plan. I started in in July and kind of figured out the card designs I wanted to make and then I made a plan to create those cards um, sporadically out throughout the following months. So when Thanksgiving came around which by the way, if you're not in the United States, um, that's a holiday in November. It's on the last Thursday of November. And that's kind of my target get, date is to get all of those Christmas cards out by that date. And so I was successful. And so that's what I want to do with this Card Maker Success Summit. I want to help you figure out what plan you're going to come up with in order to create your holiday Christmas cards. So what that means is that our speakers, 25 of them, have come up with a specific design or two, sometimes even four, Christmas cards that they have created. They have created a presentation that will allow you to follow step by step on how to create that card. Now, before we kind of get into the format of how the summit's going to go, I thought we would kind of spice it up a little bit. And what I really want to do is to do a giveaway. So who is in for a giveaway? I want to see all kinds of hands showing up in the comments below. Tell me that you're ready for a giveaway because let me tell you, we have a ton of prizes to give away tonight, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I don't want to wait till Sunday. I want to start giving it out now. So Lori, can you tell me, are people wanting to have um, some giveaways? Very much so. Yes. yes. Awesome. Okay. So let's see what's the first giveaway we're going to give. Let's do this. Let's do, we're going to do one of these um, paper packs. And let me see if I can turn my camera over. One second. Let me see if I can 
can switch my camera. Oops. There we go. Let me turn off my green screen so you can see a little bit better. Ta-da! Okay, so um, the folks over at My Colors, um, they have graciously given us a lot of paper packs to give away. And this paper pack is their heavyweight cardstock, which I sell in the store at stamp me some love um, hyphen shop.com. I'm just going to open this up. I believe there's 25 pieces in each pack. I could be mistaken, but I want to show you these colors. They're really, really pretty. And so this is a sampling of all of the colors they make. And I have most of these colors in my store. And you can hop on over there and check that out. So we've got all kinds of heavy cardstock here, lots of pretty colors. And by the way, anytime you purchase um, any of our cardstocks in our store, I will actually send you a free swatch. So that way you get a swatch of all of the colors that we carry. So there you go. All right. So we're going to do, we've got five of these to give away tonight, but I'm just going to do one for now. All right. Let me flip this. There we go. All right. Let's do our giveaway. Okay. Can we have a drum roll? <laughs> Yay. All right. Who says they're going to be the winner? Okay, our first winner. Let me see here. All right, so I'm going to do first name, and then I'm going to do last name with the first initial and the last initial. So the first name is Emile, E-M-I. L I E and last name starts with a K and ends with an S. So Emil, you are going to get one of our paper packs from my colors and you're going to get the heavyweight and Lori is writing all of this down. So I don't forget. All right, let's see. We want to do another one. Let's do another giveaway. All right, this time we're going to give away Hmm. We're going to give away our prickly pear. Camera one. Cut. There we go. We're going to give away our prickly pear uh, stamp and die stamp set. And this is the rose. And that's kind of a colored version of what that's going to look like. And let's see here. Let's draw for that winner. All right, so first name is Deborah. Last name starts with an R, ends with an S. So Deborah, you're gonna have uh, one of these. And while I'm at it, I forgot to share with you all the link to register. So let's do that before we give any more um, prizes away. So let me just turn that on. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right. So there is the link. You're going to go to stampmesomelove.com forward slash CMS hyphen giveaway hyphen July 2021. All right. So let me put that to the side. All right. Let me just take out these comments we've got here. And by the way, if you have any questions about the summit, I'm sure we're probably going to answer them in a few minutes, but I do want to um, let you all know you're free to ask them. Lori will let me know if there's any questions that we need to address on camera tonight. All right. So here's one. Let me see if I can show this one. So Mary says we only need to register once, right? And uh, she did that the other day. Yes, that is correct. So it's a good point to make. So you only have to register once for the um, prizes. You go to that website and then you don't have to be present 
on the live in order to redeem your prize. We will be emailing you to let you know that you won and you have three days to redeem your prize. Otherwise, we're going to put it back in the mix and give it to somebody else. Now, I have your email addresses, but I do not have your mailing address. So that's the reason why you need to respond with to us within 30 days. Excuse me, three days. <laughs> yeah, 30. Anyway, and so you might want to whitelist uh, my email address, which is brandy at stampmesomelove.com or support at stampmesomelove.com. Either one of those emails. You might want to whitelist that on your um your inbox so it doesn't go into your spam folder. All right. Let me see if there's any other questions. It's just for the U.S., right? The Middle That's correct. Um, I am based in um, Versailles, Kentucky, in the United States, and I am bound by U.S. law. There's not a way for me to know what laws are in every country in the world. So unfortunately, the giveaways are limited to U.S. residents. All right. Okay, I think that's it. Let's move on. Okay, all right, let me get my little notes here. Okay, so now let's talk about how the summit is going to run. So the summit is a four day, um, <laughs> excuse me, event that uh, are 25 different card makers, card influencers, um, brand experts, you name it, they're coming in and they're going to be providing uh, pre-recorded videos for you. These, these videos have um, action-packed tips and steps on how to create the specific card that they are making for you. I do want to let you all know that um, these designs that the speakers are creating for you are available for you to copy and steal for your own personal use. So don't feel intimidated that you can't use what the speaker has presented. That's the purpose of this summit is for you just to be able to take a design and run with it. You can use all of the supplies that the speaker has um, shown you what they're using and copy it exactly. Or you can take stuff from your stash and substitute out. Or you can just use the technique and just come up with something completely different. It's completely up to you. So just want to get that out of the way. All right. So our speakers are amazing. I mean, I have been blown away by the level of skill and talent and creativity that all of our speakers have brought to the summit. And I'm so very proud and blessed and grateful to be able to work with each and every one of them. Now, during the next four days, you will see those presentations and this is how it's gonna work. So actually, I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna share screen here. All right, so you should be seeing the schedule screen. This is the schedule of the summit. Right now we are on Wednesday, the July 14th for the kickoff call. And if, if I scroll this up, you're gonna see there are the different um, presenters. And so if you click on this first one, which is actually Daniel's tomorrow, he's first up bright and early tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. That's the East Coast of the United States. If you click on his link right there, and you're gonna to come to a stay tuned page. His, his presentation will not, will not release until 10 o'clock. So if you get here around 9.55, 9.58, you might wanna hit the refresh button a couple of times before it actually releases. And when you do get to it, you will find um, Daniel's picture, his video, and then right next to it will be a little chat box. And in that chat box, the um, this Daniel will be in and be available to answer any of your questions. So it's going to be a great opportunity. If you have any dying questions that you want to ask of Daniel or any of the other speakers when their presentation goes live, that's the place to do it. Now, some of our speakers, well, let me back up. So those videos are going to be somewhere between 20 to 30 minutes and they will all get released on the hour throughout the day. So that's 10, 11, 
we take a break at lunchtime and then we pick it back up at one, two, three, four, and five. So between the top of the hour and about the half, um, uh, the bottom of the hour, the videos will be playing, the um, speaker will be in the chat box, we'll all be answering questions um, and we're just gonna have a lot of fun. Then after that, some of the speakers have opted into going to the Facebook attendee group and doing a short little Facebook Live there to get a little bit more personal with you. Um, if you've got questions or you want to see a technique, you know, maybe repeat it or something, if they've got the, the, the ability to do that right there on the Facebook Live, they will certainly show you anything that you would like to ask. Now, of course, if they don't have the exact tools in front of them, they may not be able to do it, but they might be able to refer you to their YouTube channel or a video or a blog post that they've created um, already on that specific question that you have. So that's that. Now let's go back to the schedule page. Right here, this little calendar link, that will actually take you to your Google Calendar if you have one. So you can go through this schedule page and figure out which presentations you want to see. Now, there's 25 different videos here, and it's a lot. It's a lot to digest in four days. And so I would suggest that you pick and choose the presentations that you really want to focus on. Take a look at the titles. Um, you know, maybe when the video goes live, pop in a video and see if it's something that you're interested in. You can also see the um, pictures of the presentations on the speaker page, which let me see if I can pull up that link here. Hold on one second. And that is at Card Maker Success Summit forward slash speakers. If that pulls up. All right. And so on this page, you will find um, all of our speakers, all of their contact information, and all of their social media handles and a little bio about each one. So this is a great place to kind of take a look at the projects that they're going to be making, see if it's something that resonates with you and see if it's something that you want to check out. Going back to the schedule, just figure out, you know, the, the ones that you really want to take advantage of. Now, here's the thing. These videos will go live on the scheduled time and they will be up on the website for 24 hours. And what that means is that you can come back anytime during the day after they've gone live for 24 hours and rewatch the video. Now the chat box will not be monitored at that time. You won't be able to ask questions in real time, but you will be able to watch the video again. Now, if you're on Facebook, head on over to the Facebook attendee group and there you can tag the speaker and ask them questions afterwards if you're not able to make it to the live. I know that a lot of our folks actually are probably still sleeping right now or they're about to go to bed and it's too late in the morning for them to be watching this video here. So just know that if the um, if you can't make it to the live air, uh, release of the video, you can always tag the, the speaker in our Facebook group and they will be happy to answer. Um, within the YouTube page, you can see a question at the bottom. Are you able to get rid of that so people can see the oh, a little clearer? Yeah, yeah. Let me see that. Maybe. Sorry about that. Completely forgot. It's only within YouTube. I know. I'm trying to find the comment. Give me one second. Hide current comment. There we go. All right. Now, unfortunately, I can't get rid of. Oh, I actually can. Wait a minute. Let me get rid of that one. Ha! Ta da! All right. Is that what we wanted to do? Um, I'm still seeing it, but oh, it's disappearing now. Okay. Yeah. It's probably a little bit of a delay there. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. I'm so thankful that Lori's here to keep me straight. All right. Okay, so you know what? I have not posted the link to actually register for the summit. So this summit is free to attend. If you have not already gotten your 
um, ticket, please go to the Card Maker Success Summit and fill in the little form there and we will email you all the details, everything you need to know about attending the summit and where to um, go, the schedule, the whole nine yards. All right, so let's remove that. Okay, what we've got next, I think I need a drink of water. Oh, I can hear my dogs outside. All right, so let's do another giveaway. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so what do we want to give next, Lori? Mm. Maybe a VIP all access pass. So, definitely. All right, so that brings me to my next point before I get into that VIP all access pass. So, as I've mentioned, the videos for the summit will be available for 24 hours after they are. Um, after they have gone live. And I've done this for a very specific reason. You know, if you have access to something forever in a day, it, it inevitably turns out you never actually take advantage of it. And so that's why I put this in place to make you act fast. Because if I just leave these videos up forever in a day, more than likely you say, oh, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. And then you never get to it. So this is why I want you to act fast and watch those videos while they are playing. Now, that being said, I know that a lot of you are like, I can't craft that fast. I can't follow it that fast. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? I've got a solution for you. So we have the VIP All Access Pass, which essentially gives you immediate and ongoing access to all of the presentations. That means you don't have to pick and choose. You can see all of them at your own pace, your own time. You can fast forward, you can rewind, and you can nail those card making techniques. That is what the VIP All Access Pass is for you. But that's not all. We also have some bonus material inside the VIP Access Pass that is not available to everybody else. It's exclusive to the VIP All Access Pass. There are bonuses such as um, resources, downloadable files. Um, there's a workbook in there. I think it's over 200 pages bit long. There is um, courses from the speakers, special discounts from our um, sp sponsors. There's a whole lot more. So there's about $2,000 worth of content in that VIP All Access Pass. And right now, we have it available for $59. It's the early bird special price. And that price is unfortunately going to go up at midnight tonight. So our, our summit starts tomorrow. And so the price is going to go up to $79. So if you're interested and you think, mm, I don't know if I'm going to be able to watch all these videos in the next four days. I really want time. I really want, you know, some more resources that I can download and write notes on and all of that stuff. I gotcha. You're just going to head over and get the VIP All Access Pass. I'm going to show that link right now. And so that's where you're going to go to get the VIP All Access Pass. Again, we're at the early bird special price right now for $59. And that price will go up at midnight to $79. All right. Now, back to the giveaway. Let's do the giveaway. All right. How many giveaways did we say we were going to do the VIP All Access? Five. Five. We're going to get five away. All right. That's fabulous. All right, so let's do that first one. Okay, so we have Virginia, and her last name starts with a Z and ends with an R. So Virginia, you have won a VIP All Access Pass. Now, if you've already purchased it, no worries, I will refund your purchase, all right? All right, so let's do another giveaway. Let me, uh, we want camera one. All right, let's pull my notes up. All right, this time we're gonna do, let's do one of the uh, My Colors cardstock paper. And this is the classic glimmer, um, classic and glimmer. So the classic is basically your 80 pound weight and Glimmer is a little bit heavier and it's got kind of a sheen to it. All right, so this is also um, a giveaway from My Colors. And I currently do not have any of these um, colors in my store. 
So I'm glad that they send this to me so then I can figure out what I want to start to stock. So this next, we've got, I think we're giving away through five of these tonight, yes. right? All right, so here are all the colors that come in this paper pack. And let me see if I can get a raise of hands and a hallelujah. Who wants this paper pack? The classic and glimmer cardstock from my colors. Let's see who's going to be. Who's it going to be? Same two people. Lots of people say they want it? Yes, absolutely. Yes? Wow, okay. All right, so the winner of that one is Vicky, and that's V-I-C-K-I-E, and last name is, oh, almost said her last name, starts with a G and ends with an N. And the reason why I'm not telling you all their full names is because of privacy reasons, so. All right, I think we need to give another one away. Let's give this one away, this. Waha. This is our Alta New 24 half pan. And I have not opened this and just because I want to, I want to open it. Open it, open, open, open it. Does everybody else want me to open it or is it just me that just gets so excited about craft supplies? They want you to open it, yeah. <laughs> they want me to open it. Okay, all right, let's do it. So excited. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I just love the packaging. Alta new. Oh. Ta da. Look at that. Oh. And there's little tiny labels. How does this work? Well, I'm not going to mess it up on camera, <laughs> but look at all of those pretty colors. Let me hold it up a little bit. Ooh, ah. All right, now Alta New, if I'm not mistaken, is giving five of these guys. We're only going to give away one tonight, but I want you to be on the lookout because we are going to give more of these. All right. Okay, so let's see here. Who is going to win this one? Okay, this is for the Alta New 24 half pan. And let me draw a winner. Okay, so this is going to be Gloria. And that's G-L-O-R-I-A. And last name starts with an R and ends with an S. All right, Gloria. Here you go. Pretty. <laughs> awesome. Okay. All right, let's get back to my notes. Okay, so one thing I did wanna mention is that if you're having any issues with either um, finding any of the information on the summit or finding a page or you know you can't log into Teachable, you can't get access to your VIP all access pass, it's okay. I know that some of you guys have been struggling with it and we are here to help you. I just need you to send me an email. So I need you to send it to support at stampmesomelove.com. Lori and myself have been checking in on those emails all day long and we will continue to do that throughout the summit just to make sure that everybody gets access. Um, <laughs> excuse me. What I really would um, rather you not do is to post a question somewhere in Facebook or YouTube where we're not seeing it. So the best place for you to um, address any concerns you have or any struggles that you have is to actually email us. Please email us at support at teach, uh, excuse me, support at stampmesomelove.com. All right. Okay. Make sure we are still good. All right. Sounds good. Okay. So. I want to take this opportunity to thank um, a lot of folks. This summit did not happen overnight and it has taken months of planning 
and lots of moving parts, lots of people involved. And I could not have done it without the help of the following folks. Number one, I wanna thank our speakers. These speakers, most of them, if not all of them, did not know who I was. And um, it was kind of a leap of faith for them to get involved with an event and a person that they didn't know. And I have been blessed and, and so grateful that I've been able to meet so many cool people from not just in the United States, but all around the world. And it's just a humbling experience. And I wanna say thank you. The speakers were not compensated um, for their presentation. Um, they basically did it on uh, a wing and a prayer, I guess. And um, they ha have all been just very, um, very, just great through this whole process. And I want to thank them all for that. I do want to let you all know that each of the speakers has a um, supply list page. And if you are in the VIP All Access Pass, there is a link to their supply page, which is hosted on their own um, blog post page or their own blog post, their own website. Sorry, I'm getting a little tongue tied. Um, their own website where you can click through and it's an easy access to the supplies that they used. If you're just attending tomorrow, there is a worksheet that you can download that has all of the supplies as well as the step by step instructions. And then there's a link, um, a URL there that you can go to to get their supply list. I would encourage you all that if you do plan to purchase any of the supplies that the speakers is using is to go to their their website and purchase directly from their links. Those links are affiliate links. And what happens is, is that the speaker will get a small commission um, from the brand, whoever you're purchasing it from. So it's a little way to support the speakers and let them know that you have, they have um, helped you in some way. And, you know, it just kind of helps all around. They have so many expenses, you know, from, cameras to supplies and stuff like that. So it's just something to, to do for the speakers. So if you can go to their website, um, click on that link. If you're in the VIP all access pass, download that worksheet, get that link and go directly to their page and click through on the supplies and then purchase from there. It's not going to cost you anymore, but it does help the speaker out. So definitely do that. All right. So I want to thank our sponsors. We have a lot of sponsors um, this week, and I'm going to be talking about each one of them at some point in time over the week. But we have too many for me to kind of name out today. But I do want to name out two very, very important um, top sponsors that we have, and that is Pink Fresh Studios and Catherine Pooler Designs. I do want to show you a card that I created from both of um, their um, goodies that they sent me. Let me see if I can switch my camera. I want camera one. All right. Let me turn off my green screen. Here we go. So, oops, you don't need to see my notes. So this is the card that I made um, with some stuff from Catherine Pooler. And I have really kind of fallen in love with their inks. They're very, very nice to blend with. I used one of their um, stencils. The name of the stencil is escaping me, but I'm sure if you um, look on their website, you will be able to find it. And then there was a warm wishes sentiment stamp set that I used for that. And actually these rhinestones are Pink Fresh um, Studios rhinestones. So those are really kind of uh, accented that pretty well. This part right here, um, is not actually a colored cardstock. I made this with Catherine Pooler's inks. So the video, the videos that you will see tomorrow have a little commercial from Catherine and she demonstrates how you can just swipe the ink across the cardstock and make your own custom colored cardstock. So that's pretty amazing. I think it's the Aquatini, the Aquatini color that I used and it's the same color up here. So I just kind of tied those, those two in. So that is a really pretty card that I created. And I do have a blog post on that. If you want to go to stampmesomelove.com and scroll all the way down to the bottom, you will see all my blog posts. This card I made from the stuff that Pink Fresh Studios sent me. This is their Reason to Smile um, stamp set and layering stencils. This is the first time that I had um, created um, 
you know, uh, or done anything with layering stencils. I love stencils, 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 but I've never done anything with layering stencils. I will tell you though, I had not watched any videos on how to create this or how to use the stencil. I just kind of, you know, winged it without looking at any instructions. And after I found the instructions, I realized I actually did the layers backwards. But as you can see, it, it, it didn't really hurt anything. So I think that that uh, that looks really pretty. And I, I chose hope because I think the hope is, you know, it's a great word for 2021 for sure. All right. Okay, I think we need to do another giveaway. Let's see here. Definitely. And I just cut to the other camera when I'm wanting to do, to do it overhead. Oh, well. All right, so the next um, bundle of products that we're going to do a giveaway is from Trinity Stamps. And let me tell you, uh, Tunisia from uh, Trinity Stamps has given us a lot of product. I mean, a lot. And each bundle is, I don't know, it's crazy the amount of stuff that's in here. So let me just flip the camera over again. I want camera one. We're going to cut. There we go. And Okay, so this is adorable. I mean, look at this. All right, so we've got here, we've got this little um, like nested type framelits there. And then we have, let's see here, we've got all kinds of cute stamps. Look at that. Look at that little mitten. It says I'm smitten with you. And then we've got the coordinating dies that go with it. Oh my God goodness. All right. Now this guy, this guy's so cute. It says, thank you for the unforgettable gift. Get it? It's an elephant. Unforgettable. You know, elephants have memories, you know, so cute. All right. This one, let me see here. All right. So this one's really cute, but I will tell you, I'm not a big fan of moles or voles because I have them all over my yard. But I will say this little critter on this stamp set is so cute. So this is the snow mobile and the coordinating um, dies that go with it. So, so cute. All right. This, oh my God, this is so cute. A pear tridge in a bear tree. Get it? There's the bear. He's holding some leaves or some branches. So he's a tree and there's a partage. Par How do you say that? Partage, partage, partage in a bear tree. Yes, right. Okay. And then there's a the coordinating dies that go with it. Then right here, we've got little, let's see, this is my favorite time spelled T-H-Y-M-E of the year. And this is season greetings. We've got a little soy sauce, sage, thyme, and some really cute little sayings. And then we've got the coordinating dies that go with it. Oh, my God. Look at this. I love rainbows. And aren't these the cutest thing ever? Let me see if you can see that. They're little clay rainbow candy canes. Too much. Too much. And I love that she sends them in these little um, containers. I have, let me pull mine out. So I have this, ooh, 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 just stub my toe. I have this guy right here where I keep all of my stuff and it fits perfectly in there. I mean, it's the right size and everything. So that is so awesome. All right. What else we've got in this little bundle? Oh, beautiful. Look at this. Let me open it up. We've got, what is this one called? This is the Rainbow Reflections. And these are little rhinestones. I'm obsessed with rhinestones. They are just so blingy and I just add them to everything. All right. Now we've got the Holly Jolly Clay Candy Canes. Oh my gosh. These are so cute. All right. So that 
is the giveaway from Trinity Stamps. Now, Trinity Stamps, I believe they've got four, maybe five of these types of packaging. Now, it'll be different. It won't be this. This is the only one that is um, of this bundle. But she has sent so much stuff. I was just floored at all of the goodies that she sent. All right. So let's figure out who this is going to go to. Oops. Y'all don't want to see my ugly green screen. <laughs> All right. Let's see who that one's going to go to. All right. We're going to draw a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay. This one is going to go Linda. Linda, you scored on this one. So Linda is your first, her first name. Of course, you know what your first name is. And last name starts with a K and ends with an L. Linda, I'm going to tell you I'm jealous. There's a lot of good stuff in here. All right, let me just set that to the side. How are we doing on time? We got 746. All right, we've got time. Let me see if I had any other. Oh, I've got more thank yous to do. Let's do that first. And... Let me see where I'm at. Okay. Okay. So sponsors. So we've got uh, Pink Fresh and Catherine Pooler, which I'm so grateful that they have um, graciously agreed to um, sponsor. And then all of the other sponsors who have been donating some prizes. We're going to talk a little bit about them throughout the show. The other um, person I really want to thank, and um, she's going to kill me when I say this, but Ardeth Percy Robb. So Ardith is one of our speakers and she has a presentation about doing uh, multiples uh, with die cuts. And I can't remember off the top of my head when her presentation is, but you have got to see this video. So Ardith, um, she has helped me out pretty much since we started working with each other. And she had graciously offered to proofread um, some um, pages on my website or the card maker website and different promotion material and all this kind of stuff. So um, she's great. She's super great. And when we started opening up the Facebook group, she agreed to moderate that. So I just want to say thank you, Ardith. I could not have done this without you. Thank you. Uh, the next person I want to thank is Love Abbott from Love Abbott Web Branding Company. And I certainly hope you are listening because I'm giving a big shout out for her because she helped me with all of the branding, all of the graphics, all of the logos, all of it. I could not have done any of that without her. So I wanna give her a big shout out for that. But I will say, if you get a lot of business from this shout out, you better save room for, my, for me and my stuff, all right? All right, next person I wanna thank is Nicole Beatty. Girl, you know who you are. And uh, Nicole helped me um, learn what it, what, what it meant to serve sponsors in the best possible way. And I want to thank you for that. Uh, lastly, or not lastly, but next, I want to thank Krista Miller. She was my uh, summit coach and all of her crew. And um, just thank you, Krista. I couldn't have done it without you. Last but not least, I want to thank my new assistant, Lori, who just came on last week. She has been behind the scenes since Thursday and has been picking it up tremendously fast. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. All right. Let's see if we have any other questions that I need to address. I do have a couple of questions. Okay. One is you don't have to be VIP to get a giveaway item, right? That's correct. Um, the VIP, or excuse me, the giveaways are available to anyone who um, registers as long as you live in the United States. And what if you want to purchase the items later on? Uh, go to the particular um, sponsor's website and purchase it directly from them. Okay. Yeah, is that it? That's yeah. Everybody's just excited to be. Everybody's excited. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, well, we've got a lot more giveaways to do, so let's do it. All right. Okay, all right, let's flip the camera over. There we go. All right, we're gonna speed through this and then I'm gonna do a little wrap up again um, just to remind folks of what the schedule is gonna look like and then we will end it for this evening. All right, so our next giveaway 
is from Casual Friday Stamps. And um, this is the Merry Christmas 3x4 stamp, Lori, in case you're writing this down. And this is a cute little stamp set. It's got Merry Christmas, cute little font, and some um, snowflakes. Let's give this one away. All right, this one is going to Carolyn, and that's C-A-R-O-L-Y-N. Last name starts with an R and ends with an S. I recognize that name. I think she may have emailed me before. <laughs> All right, so that's that one. All right, we're going to do one of the Pink Fresh bundles. There's three of these. And these are the, there's three products in this bundle. So there is the, what is this called? Trimming tree, tree trimming friends stamp set and the coordinating dies. And then we also have holiday vibes as a word die that has the halo on it. All right. They are giving away three of these guys. We're only going to give away one tonight. All right. Let's draw that winner. All right. So this one is going to Karen. That's K-A-R-E-N. Last name starts with an R, ends with a K. Put that back in the bag. All right, let's do a VIP. No, let's do one of these again because I think we've got several of these. So this one is going to be the Classic and Glimmer My Colors um, Paper Pack. And draw that winner. All right, this one is going to Teresa, and that's spelled T R E. R-E-S-A. Last name starts with a D, ends with an E. You're going to get one of these paper packs. Starts with an E, ends with an E? No, it starts with a D and ends with an E. All right, we're going to do another one of the heavyweight card packs from My Colors. All right, uh, this one is for April, and her last name starts with a D and ends with an S. How many of these guys have we given away so far? Uh, the heavyweight, two. Two, okay, so, and then the other one, two as well? Yes. Okay, so we got three more of those. All right, let's see. Oh, here's one we can give away. This is a bundle from Deco Foil. Let's see here. All right. So here are all the goodies that Deco Foil is giving away. No, not Deco Foil, excuse me. Thermal Web. Thermal Web is giving away. Deco Foil is the product here. All right, it's getting late and I'm starting to get thirsty. Let me drink some more water. Okay, so we've got lots of stuff in here. We've got uh, double-sided foam adhesive, which you can um, put foil on. You can um, die cut this material. You can cut it. You can put it through your trimmer and then lay the foil on it on the adhesive part and then um, pull off the backing and then lay that down on your car. It's really cool. Um, let's see, we've got the Transfer Gel Duo. I did a blog post on this um, yesterday, I posted it on my website, so you can see that at stampmesomelove.com. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see those blog posts. I think I also have a link in the menu where I use the Transfer Gel with Flock. These little sheets here, I'm going to open up one just because. I don't know if you can 
see it properly in the cellophane. But these are little, they're like little fuzzy pieces of paper. I don't know if you can see that very well, the texture. But I, what I put in my blog post was it's kind of like those, <laughs> remember those, well, Laura, you're too young to remember this, <laughs> but um, the old um, Elvis velvet paintings that had um, velvet. No, Lori no. shaking his her head saying she's too young. She just graduated from Western State University here it's in Kentucky. Yeah. yeah. So congrats on that. All right. So we've got the emerald red and then we've got the em I'm sorry, emerald red, ruby red and the emerald green. We've also got a XL tape runner from iCraft. Always, always need adhesive when you're making cards. And the stencil pal, this comes in really handy when you're um, applying the transfer gel to a stencil. So you will take, you know, your little spatula or whatever and put the material, um, the gel, the duo on your stencil and then use your stencil pad to scrape it. Now, one thing I like about the stencil pad is that it's wide and I don't know exactly the dimension. Let's see here. It looks like it is uh, five and a half, maybe five and a half. And yeah, look at there dimension right there, five and a half. And so that's wide enough to go through, go over an, an A2 size um, card. And what I found um, before is that I used a little tiny scraper that was about this big and I was having to go multiple passes. And as I did that, I was causing um, streaks in my project. So I really like the stencil pad for that. And people mm -hmm. are commenting about seeing your green screen. Oh, is my green screen on? Some people are seeing it and some people aren't. Yes, it's on. There we go. We'll have to show all this again because now you'll see the actual colors. <laughs> All right. So, well, you probably didn't, you probably could see this color, but you didn't see this color. This is the emerald green, the flock. And then we've got the ruby red there. And then we've got the tape runner. And then we've got the stencil pal, the transfer gel duo. And one of the reasons why it says duo. So they used to have um, something, I don't know if they still make it, but it was just transfer gel. And when you would apply it to the stencil and you let it dry, you actually had to use a heat source in order to make whatever you wanted to put on their stick, like foil or flock or whatever. And so if you didn't have a laminator or whatever, then you were kind of, you know, you couldn't use it. But now they've got um, this transfer gel duo, which you can use with heat or without. Either way, once you apply it, you have to wait till it dries in order before you can do anything with it. And it goes on white and it dries clear. And then, of course, we've got the deco foil, which who doesn't love foiled cards? All right. So enough of chitter chatter. Let's give it away. Let's give it away. All right. Okay, let's see who we're going to give that to. Okay, so this is the Thermal Web bundle, and this is going to Cindy. Uh, uh, C-I-N-D-Y, last name starts with an M and ends with an H. Now, uh, Thermal Web has given me, I think, five of those bundles. So we'll be giving out more of that same bundle later in the week. So if you really, really wanted it and you didn't get it, stick around. You'll probably see it come up again. All right, let's do another VIP um, pass. Excuse me. How many have we given those away? Um, we have given only one. Are you kidding? We've mm -hmm. only given away? We have five to give away. Yes. All right. Well, then we're going to do rapid fire, and I'm going to give away three right now. All right. So the first one, VIP All Access Pass. This one is for Diane, D-I-A-N-E. Last name starts with a B, ends with a T. All right. So that's two. I'm going to give the third one away. All right, this one's going to Shell, spelled C-H-E-L-L-E. 
Last name starts with a W, ends with an N. All right, so what is that, three? No. We have a total of three. Yes. Total three. All right, let's do the last two. All right. Okay, next one is going to go to Melissa. And Melissa's last name starts with an H and ends with an H. All right, and one more. And that will finish us out for our VIP All Access Pass. So we're going to do a Leslie Ann. That's L-E-S-L-I-E. -E. Last name Ann. I mean, middle name Ann, I'm assuming, or... Yeah, and then the last name starts with a B and ends with an N. All right. Lori, do we have any questions that we need to look at? Um, we've had quite a few, few people want to know if this is going to be an annual event. <laughs> well, so the answer is probably. Um, I hope to have uh, another event sometime in early spring. And that will not be focused on Christmas cards, but it will be focused on all the other occasions in our life. I do not have dates on that, but I hope that I will be able to find some other speakers who will be willing to work with me again on that project. And we'll be um, posting out a place for people to apply to be a speaker in that show. And then, who knows, maybe I'll do another holiday one in the summer. Although I'm sure my wife will kill me if I do that because... Um, Summer is her season, and she has not seen a lot of me in the last couple of months. Um, she spends her time outside of the pool, and I've been spending my time in this craft room getting ready for everything. So we'll see. Maybe I can adjust the dates or something to make her a little bit happy. All right. Any other questions? So for people that have VIP access, how long do they have access to that material? Sure. Absolutely. Great, great question. So the question, I'm not sure if you all can hear Lori when she um, when she's speaking. She's not mic'd up. She's behind the computer handling everything. Um, so the VIP All Access will give you immediate, meaning as soon as you um, sign up for it, and then it will give you ongoing access. Now, I don't say lifetime access because that's kind of a vague term. Whose lifetime is it? Is it your lifetime or my lifetime? What I've been telling folks is as long as I'm in the craft business, you will have access to the VIP All Access Pass. And if for some reason it needs to come down, I will notify everybody well in advance so they can download their resources and stuff. So not an issue, not an issue. And lots of people are saying that, you know, if you've had your more events, you can send those send your wife thank you cards. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. You'll send my wife thank you cards. That's awesome. I hope she's watching that part. <laughs> Um, and Teachable, what is Teachable? That's Okay, so Teachable is a platform that um, folks, creators like myself, can create a school around. Um, there's different platforms out there. There's Kajabi, there's Podia, and Teachable. And Teachable happens to be the, the platform that I started using uh, back before COVID, COVID started when I was doing online classes. And um, so it was just sort of natural for me to continue on with the Teachable platform. That being said, um, we've had a lot of people sign up and I'm not quite sure if Teachable is the same platform that I wanna use for the next one. So I'm gonna be using this break between now and then to research other options and to see something or to see if I can find something that will be better suited for our needs. But I appreciate you all kind of hanging in there with me um, with, with all the issues that you may or may not have had with Teachable. Um, certainly wasn't my intent. And I know that there has been some frustration, but hopefully um, I've expressed enough times that all you have to do is to email us at support at stampmesomelove.com and we will get you in, um, you know, barring <laughs> whatever problems there may be. All right. All right, Lori, what else? Um. A couple people asked about card swap, if that's still on. Is that related to this event? That type of thing. Okay, so the card swap is a totally separate thing. Um, I host a monthly card swap, and you can find that Facebook group if you go if you do in the search bar card makers card swap, and th there's a place for you to you know 
um, join. And we put a kind of a pause on it the last couple of months because um, I've been obviously consumed with Summit. But I do have plans to resume it probably in September um, or maybe October. And basically what that is, is that you create uh, seven cards of the same design based on whatever the theme is that month. You mail that to me with a self-addressed paid envelope. And then I take the other folks who have sent it and I swap them out. And so then you get seven different cards back. So it's kind of a way to get you, you know, in the practice of creating cards. It's also a way for you to get different cards back. Um, I've, you know, been participating in card swaps for, for many, many years. And it's awesome way to kind of stockpile your, your variety of different or, um, occasions. So you have cards, you know, for whatever occasion. So yes, we have put a little pause on it, but I do anticipate um, starting it back up probably in September or October. I think that's all the questions. Good. All right. Okay. So how many VIP all access passes have we given? I think we have all given. Five. Oh, we gave all five. Are you sure? Yes. All five. Woo -hoo. All right. Well, let's get some more paper packs out. How many? So we've only given out. We need three more of the classic blue mm -hmm. and three more of the heavy weight. Okay. So we're going to do this rapid fire as well. So we've got the. This is the classic and glimmer. We got some really cute glimmer paper. You can kind of see it shiny. Oh, <laughs> you can't see up there because oh, it's getting late for me. All right. So yes, you can kind of see the, the glimmer, the shine in that paper. It's really pretty paper. And Brandy, just stop talking and let's just, let's just do it. <laughs> All right. Let me get back to the screen. Here we go. All right. So first one for the Glimmer cardstock is going to be Sonia. Her first name is spelled S-O-N-I-A. Last name spelled starts with a G, ends with an O. I mean, ends, ends with an S. Starts with a G, ends with an S. So that's one. All right. Our next one for the same glimmer, classic glimmer and classic and glimmer. That one's going to Delia and that's D-E-L-I-A. Last name starts with a B, ends with an N. And then we've got one more of this paper pack, correct? Yes. All right, let's go ahead and get that one out of the way here. All right, this one is Nancy, and Nancy's last name starts with an S and ends with a D. All right, so that's the classic and the glimmer paper. All right, so now we've got three more of the heavyweight, is that right? Yes. All right, we're gonna do three of these heavyweights, rapid fire. All right, so let's see. Okay, this one is going to Eliza. It's E-L-I-Z-A. Last name starts with a P, ends with an A. Next one. is Christine, and that's with a C, C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N-E. Last name um, starts with a C and ends with an X. And then we've got one more. All right, this last one, and this is for um, the heavyweight, and it is Helen. H-E-L-H-E-L-E-N. Last name starts with a B and ends with a K. I think that is all of our giveaways, or at least for tonight. Yes. 
All right. Okay. So let's just kind of wrap up here. Make sure that um, we've got any questions here. Just going to look through the comments briefly. If you're able to, are you able to say how many people have signed up for the summit? Mm. Is that just something to keep mysterious? Mm, let me think about that. I'm going to keep it mysterious for now. Maybe we will say it at the end of the summit. How about that? Because that number could change. Mm -hmm. We could have one number now and that number could like be totally different by Sunday. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I've got the giveaway link going there. I'm going to put up the registration link. Again, if you haven't registered already, please do go to the cardmakersuccesssummit.com website. And there you will find all of the details about the summit and you'll see all of the pretty pictures of the speakers. You will find um, different FAQs at the bottom of the page. You will also find um, all the sponsors who will be sponsoring this week in various different ways, not just in product um, uh, giveaways, but they've you know partic participated in other, um, other means. So really, really excited that we've had so much activity from the sponsors. All right, so just a recap um, how the summit is going to run. So you have the schedule, you will get emailed the link to the schedule um, when you sign up. If you've already signed up and you can't find that email, what are you gonna do? You're gonna email support at stampmesomelove.com and we will email it to you again, no worries. All right, so you're gonna find that link to the schedule and then on the schedule, you'll see all the different um, speakers. And then there's hyperlinks to all of their different presentation pages that the videos will release on the hour based on that schedule. And they'll release at the top of the hour. And then their video will play 20, 30 minutes. The speaker will be in the chat box, chatting it up with you, answering your questions. And then afterwards, if you're on Facebook, you can hop on over to the Facebook attendee group. This is the only part of the summit that will not be live streamed to YouTube. So unfortunately, if you're not a member of Facebook, this is the only part you don't get access to is the Facebook live that the speakers will do in the Facebook attendee group right after their presentation. Not all of the speakers are available to do so, um, but most of them are, and I think it's a great place for you as a, um, a card maker to, to ask questions. You know, a lot of times we feel like, you know, when we see these speakers and influencers that have thousands of followers, well, they're not going to answer my question or they don't, they don't really care about my crafting. That's absolutely not true. All you have to do is raise your hand and ask the question. And all of the speakers that are in this summit have graciously accepted to do just that. So if you're not able to watch their Facebook Live or their video and chat with them while it's being released, head on over to the Facebook group and tag them with whatever question you have, and they will be glad to answer it later. Now, if you're not part of Facebook, then head on over to the speakers Facebook, uh, the speakers page on the website. It's really easy to find. It's cardmakersuccesssummit.com forward slash speakers. And there you will find all of their contact information. So they've got their intro, uh, interest, Pinterest and their Instagram and their YouTubes and their blogs. I mean, all kinds of ways to get connected with these speakers. And I know, I know they would love to chat with you. All right. Then tomorrow evening, we are going to be coming to you live again, starting at seven o'clock. We will have two sponsors um, come in and do um, two different presentations. I believe if I'm not mistaken, tomorrow is, oh, yep, Taylor Expressions. So I will start at seven o'clock, get us all kind of acclimated to what we're going to be doing. And then around 7.15, we're going to bring Taylor on. She is going to be um, demonstrating some um, um, little tips with some of her products that she's going to be doing. And then we're going to be giving away one of her um, 
her little bundles. And then Pink Fresh Studio, Heather is coming on to do a demo there as well. So we've got lots of demoing. We've got lots of fun going on tomorrow. Um, Lori and I both will be behind the computer furiously answering all of your questions. Um, please, please, if you've got any issues, don't post them in the Facebook group or anywhere else on social media. We might not find it and we might not be able to get to you as quickly as possible. But if you email us at what's the email? support at stampmesomelove.com. We will answer your um, question in the order in which we receive it. So, all right. So before we end tonight, I just want to make sure, Lori, do we have any other questions that we need to address? I'm not seeing anything on it, but did we want to talk about um, who's the farthest away? Oh, I, far I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Who is the furthest away from Versailles, Kentucky? Perth, Australia. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is pretty far. Quite a few people in Australia right now. Yes. I, well, that is because we have quite a few speakers from Australia. Mm. So that's why. <laughs> All right. So um, see if you can jot their name down. down okay. This. Awesome. And maybe um, friend request them or something so we can maybe do something special for them. All right, you guys, I'm going to sign off for now. I usually sign off my lives with life happens. I comment, stamp me some love. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.